Back in the New York groove. I'm back. Back in the New York groove. Alyssa, Gwendolyn, this is Naomi. This is my wife, Alyssa, and her sister, Gwen. How many assistants does this make, Nick? I'm sorry. She makes my life miserable. My mom called one of her oldest friends from college. This kid just moved here. I met the girl once when she was something like five. I'm sure she sucks now. Thank you for showing up. It's not like I have many other people clamoring for my company. Does your wife clamor? She does not clamor. No. Nick's been a bad boy. It took them years to find a path back to being normal-ish. You know, I feel like people never make films about ordinary people who don't really do anything. They're out there. I can take you to some. Do I need to be worried about Naomi? Let's just let this whole affair be simple. Affair? What a horrible choice of words. My sister-in-law. She's duplicitous. She's a liar. This, this gossip, you know, talking about someone as soon as they leave the room kind of makes me feel ill. When is Buddy coming back? He's going to be gone a little while. Are you sure he's not out with what's her face? Why would you say that? Would you tell me if you thought Naomi was untrustworthy? Naomi's not the problem. Is there a problem? I feel like the most difficult part about being as transient as I have been is just how vulnerable I am to infatuation. I go to a new place, then I meet somebody and I fall in love with him, and then I just want, want to leave. I wonder if the next time we see each other, we'll have met someone who makes us feel or desire. That's a novel concept. <laughs>